In this video, I'm going to show you how to access SSH using Metasploit. I showed you how to access using the command prompt, the terminal, but now I'm, I will show you how to access it using the Metasploit. The first thing we are going to do is to search for the module that will allow us to connect to Metasploitable machine. Let's type here search and we need to type here SSH, only that. And as you can see, when we accessed, we accessed because we knew the password. Because during the brute force was discovered that the, the Metasportable machine were using this password. Username and password was the same. Let's access it using this password. And also I will show you how we can brute force, like we don't know the password and we will provide the, the usernames and the passwords. For that, we are going to use an auxiliary. First thing we need to do here, we need to look for this module right here. Don't worry about the rank right now at this stage. Just scroll up and look for this number 46. As you can see here, 46, we need this auxiliary here. Auxiliar scanner SSH SSH underscore login. Okay. And the rank is normal. We we need this this one here. You can you can use this number as a reference. What we are going to do, we are going to copy this module. Just right click and copy selection. And down below, you need to type this. If you want to use any module, the first thing you need to do, you need to type this command use and after that you can pass the module okay let's pass the module yes this is the syntax every time we want to use these modules we need to type use space and type the path of the module and hide enter as you can see here we are now using auxiliary scanner ssh ssh login after that the first thing we need to do we need to see what that module requires from us to be able to connect to the SSH on the target machine. To do that, type this command, options, and hit enter. Here we go. So here, module options. We are seeing all the things we need to set to be able to use this module. First thing here, you have some names, you have some options here we are going to use, I will explain you about some of them. Here we have the current settings and also we have the required one. Some are optional, but some are, are required. For example, we have here this one, brute force speed. We need to specify the speed. If we don't change this number, the, this module will use the default one. The same for this option here, but here we need to specify the target because the current settings, as you can see, we don't have nothing here, passwords, files, and so on. All right, so we have these options. We need to pay attention for the required ones, okay? The required one that we don't see any information here in this column, current settings. For example, we have these three, one, two, three, four. We need to, to look for these four here, four options. To start, as we well know, my target machine is using the IP Metasploit table is using 246 as the, la the last octet. So what I'm going to do here, first, I can come here, this one, the speed, I will not change this, I will leave this one, okay, is required, but is set by default here. So if you, I want to change something here, I will, I will do this and make sure you read this information. It goes from zero to five. We cannot use above five. Okay. For example, let's change this number. To change, we need to, to use this option. Set. Every time we want to use these names, those names here, we need we need to use set. This is the command to set the configuration. After set, we need to type the name. Okay. In this case, let's say set brute brute force speed. And after that, we need to specify the speed number. And remember that the speed goes from zero to five. So let's say, let's put here four and hind enter. Okay, root for speed, four. So it is set. If you, if you will type here, show options, you will see that the number was set to four. 
let's move forward so the next thing we are going to change here we are going to look for these options here we need to set for example here air hostess air hostess is where we will provide the hostess all the host to do that always let's set let's type set and then we need to type this name here air hostess and we need to provide the target IP or host name. In my case, it's this one. And I will hide. Enter. Great. Air hostess, this is the number. And the other thing I need here, the port, the SSH protocol runs on port 22. So I will not change this one. I will leave this. We need to set the password. Okay, here. We need to set the password, specify password to authenticate with or let's type set password and I provide the password enter I have the password and also I need to provide the username set username I'll provide the username let's type show options to see what we set so far here we have the host name the port is set we have here the username and also we have the password with these options here i can connect now so now what is the next step so now that i set all of this information what i need to do is to run just type run and hit enter here we go as you can see here as you can see brute force okay i have here success it means that I was able to connect to this target using the port 22 and the username and password. Okay, and I succeed. Scanned one host. Okay, completed. And auxiliary mode execution completed as well. So now what I can do when I connected to this, as you can see, this information is very important. SSH session one open it. It means that I during this process when I ran the command run one session with the target machine was opened for me so how i can how can i see that to see the sessions open what we need to do we need to type here sessions i think i and hide enter to see all sessions as you can see we have just one session we can have more than one let's re retype this command here and hide enter okay so now let's type the sessions again i think i you see now we have two sessions and the type is shell okay so it means that we are connected to the target how can i interact with the target now i'm connected but i want to interact to the target to get information regarding to the target to do that what we need to do we need to type again sessions i and i and we need to to specify the session we want to interact with in this case we need to select the session we want to use for example let's select the section one and hide enter here as you can see is starting interaction with one with session one i'm interacting now if i type this command you name iphone a you will see that it will give me linux metasploitable 2 server as, as you can see i'm already interacting with the target i can type another command i, I, I can type here ls just to see okay vulnerable i can type pwd you see here msf admin and also i can check for example i can let me go here i want to show you something ef config i want to show you my current ip address this is my current ip address my call is IP address 245 this is my current so when because I'm connected to the target here I can type the same command okay ef config and hit enter as you can see here as you can see that I'm connected to the meta portable machine you see here the IP the last octet is 246 so it means that I'm connected to this machine here I'm connected to this machine here. I can run commands. I can create files. Everything that I would be able to do from that machine, I can do from here. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how we can brute force it when we don't know the password. Let's suppose that we scan with OpenVAS and we just we detected that SSH is running 
but we don't know the password. This vulnerability is related to the password, but it's related to using the default password. But in some cases, we can just detect that some specific application is running on the target. Okay. In the next video, I will show you how we can discover if the target is using or not SSH service. Okay. Using a module here, I will show you how we can do that. To close this, you can just type exit. As you can see, we close the, this session one. And we can also see again the sections, the open sessions, and we have only the session two open it. So that's it for this lesson. In next lesson, I will show you how we can discover if SSH is, is, is running on the target instead of using this. For example, you want to do something quick. You don't want to run open open vest to scan the target. You can just do that using Metasploit. I will show you in the next video. And also I will show you how we can use files to try to, to guess password, to brute forcing the target. This is all for this lesson. See you in the next lesson. Okay.